everyone. Uh, hi from Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, we are now at the venue of the workshop that was just conducted on life cycle refrigerant management by the Ozone Secretariat ahead of the annual Montreal Protocol meeting. Uh, and this whole day was filled with this discussion around this extremely important climate action tool. My name is Richie Kaur and I work for the Natural Resources Defense Council or NRDC. I'm a senior super pollutant reduction advocate and I focus on these efforts around advocating for reduction in emissions of hydrofluorocarbons or HFCs. Uh, you'll remember from the recent infographics from CCAC, the red bats flying out of the air conditioner, just for reference. So among the most potent greenhouse gases that we've managed to invent, uh, hundreds to thousands of times more potent than CO2 at trapping heat and causing warming. And there is a huge bank of these substances locked inside equipment that is operating today. So for reference, most HFCs uh, are used as refrigerants or heat transfer fluids in air conditioning, refrigeration equipment, and heat pumps around the world. Um, if you think this is a niche issue, it is not. They are in, uh, to borrow a line from a movie, in refrigerants are nearly in everything, everywhere, all at once. We are surrounded by them in our cars, in our homes, our office buildings, our supermarkets, uh, our hospitals. We use these cooling agents uh, to make our lives more comfortable and frankly more livable. But at the same time, when they escape into the atmosphere, they warm up the planet. So we're locked in this feedback loop where the cooling agents themselves can cause more warming. And LRM or life cycle refrigerant management is about making sure that those banks of refrigerants locked inside the equipment around us are not vented into the atmosphere. That we prevent leaks to the extent possible, that we then at the end of life recover those refrigerants and either recycle them or reclaim them, which is to bring them up to a purity standard of new refrigerant uh, and reuse them till we need that equipment. And ultimately, when we don't need it anymore, destroy it. Uh, it has become a topic of deep interest at the Montreal Protocol level in the recent years. Um, and it started with a report that the NGO community did, which was called the 90 billion ton report. And, you know, the, the um, showstopper or the headline is in the title that it is this massive multiple gigaton opportunity when it comes to climate action. The Montreal Protocol's own technology and uh, economic advisory panel just published a report earlier this year, which says that if you do good LRM, we can prevent up to 39 gigatons of CO2 emissions by 2050. So absolutely packs a punch. Um, and there are lots of things to discuss around this. So we spent a whole day at a workshop here and we expect this to result in more interest from the parties, uh, maybe even uh, another ask for diving deep into the financial models and mechanisms that enable good LRM so that we can reap all of those environmental benefits that are locked inside managing these banks effectively and efficiently. Uh, so with that, uh, I would uh, encourage our entire partner community to get more plugged into this topic and help out as much as you can with education, with awareness, starting with educating ourselves, but then spreading the word on how important it is to focus on LRM uh, and ultimately achieve those goals of ozone and climate protection uh, that are earned through this. Thank you.